name's Zoe Harkham, I'm author of The Harkham Diet. This is just a little taster of a couple of very important videotapes that we've put up onto our website. They're slightly longer than the length that YouTube allows, but they're so important that I just wanted to give you a taster here, and hopefully you'll go over to my website and have a look at them. One of the greatest myths to prevail over the last 50 years is the idea that eating saturated fat causes heart disease. I can stand in front of you here now and categorically say it absolutely has not been proven that eating saturated fat causes heart disease. And you will be able to see for every circumstance in which a country has high saturated fat intake and high heart disease, or low saturated fat intake and low heart disease, you will also be able to see high saturated fat intake and low heart disease, and low saturated fat intake and high heart disease. So there is not even an association between these four variables in a consistent way. There absolutely certainly is not a causation. And on the videos, I'll actually break it down. We'll go into what is an association, what is a causation. We start off with a bit of fun, and I set out to see if I can prove that bathing causes singing, because of course, fairly easily, I would be able to observe somebody taking a bath who is also singing, and I would be able to observe my cameraman here who's not taking a bath and who's not singing. And wouldn't it be great if I could just leave it there and say that being in the bath causes singing, eating saturated fat causes heart disease. And believe me, that is just about the parallel that has been done between something very silly and something incredibly life-threateningly important. We will, of course, see that some people take a bath and don't sing, and some people are not in the bath and they are singing, and we will equally be able to see many countries with a high saturated fat intake, such as France, and countries with a very low saturated fat intake that have heart disease. And there can be many, many reasons for this. We're going to go into these, we're going to look at the thing that was put in in the middle, um, ducts in my bathing example, and of course cholesterol, in the heart disease saturated fat example, each of them equally absurd, equally ludicrous, equally irresponsible, but unfortunately, the one in red, the saturated fat and heart disease, has formed the basis of our public health advice over the last 50 years, and it's time that it needs to stop. So I really hope you'll look out for the videos and enjoy them, and change your view on something that you quite possibly hold to be true at the moment. Thanks very much.